All right, everybody, let's plug into the collective right now. This is a reading for Twin Flames. This is a weekly reading that I do. And uh, each time I may plug into a different set of Twin Flames. So let's just see what wants to come through. If this is your story, I'll go deeper into it in the extended. All right, I'll tell you more about that as we get further into the reading. So what needs to come through for the collective today, please? This is my Ascension deck. Increase your frequency. Higher conscious awareness. Karmic purge. Mirror reflection. Some of you are definitely um, either with a karmic or your twin is with a karmic. And there's a purge happening. Spiritual awakening. Shift or be shifted. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Feminine twin activating the higher self. So this can be a feminine twin who is undergoing some kind of purge um, that I'm connecting with right here. It doesn't matter either way, feminine, masculine. There's something about the feminine energy. All right. The feminine energy of allowing. And if you have um, an overabundance of feminine energy, you may have allowed um, abuse or neglect or uh, lower vibrational energies, especially if there's some kind of feeling of unworthiness and it's sort of like, well, I, you know, I, I need to be welcoming and open and loving and everything. Maybe I could just love them into being better person or something like that. No, this person is basically in your life to show you that you need to value yourself more than what you're doing. So I could be talking to masculines who have an overabundance of feminine energy or feminine energies, uh, a feminine divine feminine that has overabundance of feminine and need to uh, accelerate or embrace more of their masculine, more of their self-protective masculine. OK, there is a spiritual awakening that's happening and that will uh, that will um, accelerate this. Uh, I do feel there is some kind of acceleration here with the spiritual awakening showing up and the increasing your frequency. That's one lesson that really needs to happen right now is this purge of um, I call them plutonics. <laughs> that's I don't know if that's my own term or not, but I feel like when I teach astrology, uh, I have a, a Twin Flame Astrology group. I'm going to be talking to them this week, and we're going to be talking about progressed charts, the progressed composite chart, which shows the energy of the two of you together and what the relationship is. So we're going to be talking about that this week. And I almost feel like the plutonic energy, the karmic energy that is really um, showing up in your life. Some of you, this could be somebody you think is a twin flame and it's a false flame. Um, how you'll know that is once you learn the lesson of a karmic, they will disappear. Twin flames do not disappear. So even if you're, even if your twin flame is showing you some, uh, you know, mirroring back to you some things that you don't want to see about yourself or whatever, it's not abusive. Uh, this is more abusive. This is tougher stuff. All right. This is some of you could have had this a long time ago and you're recognizing that, oh, this was something of a karmic purge that I went through. Oh, yeah. Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. Look at this. The Two of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. And this is Union. Look at that. This is the karmic. So uh, Archangel Michael here, too, with the temperance card is really showing you the difference. OK, showing you the difference. This devil energy has to do with Saturn and it can feel as if there's something out there kind of punishing me or punishing you or something like that. This doesn't feel like that at all. The six of cups. Um, some of you could have a twin that's coming toward you. Right. Archangel Michael is bringing that in. And there's something about them having this problem or this kind of relationship where it's very toxic and they have been uh, in some kind of codependency. Now, this could have been you also that I'm talking to right now. This is about helping other people with the same thing. So if you both have gone through some kind of narcissistic abuse 
or some kind of really toxic connections could be family, doesn't have to be another love partner, could be uh, anybody in your life that has shown you this kind of toxicity. You're going to see that in your twin uh, connection. You're going to see it. All right, you're going to see it. So this is for the collective. I will pull cards for the Divine Feminine specifically and Divine Masculine specifically. But right now, this is the collective. A lot of anxiety about what's going on or not going on. Okay, um, situation, Emperor, Divine Masculine energy. So that is really good. If you have been in this place where you don't know what to do, uh, uh, allowing for a little more divine masculine, a little more action on your own behalf. This is Aries. This is like, what do I need, right? It's first house energy. It's about what do I need? So there's something here that if you are very much all in some kind of relationship and you're really focusing totally on the other person, what they're doing wrong, what they're doing that's difficult, whatever. It's sort of like turn it, turn it on yourself and see if you can give yourself, you can elevate that frequency. See if you can nurture yourself out of this, right? That's feminine energy too. It's activating the higher self, really activating the expansiveness of divine feminine by being more self-protective. I like that a lot. Opportunity. Seven of Pentacles. You've planted the seeds here for reunion. I've been getting a lot of reunion energy in these readings, and I'm feeling like this is here, divine uh, timing, and the Six of Cups returning. Archangel Michael is on the case. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, divine timing is the card. So we'll see. Let me pull more cards here as if you're stopping me. You're really not. <laughs> High Priestess. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. King of Pentacles. Some of you have an unhealthy connection. It can be with money or materialism. It can be with how other people see me, keeping up with the Jones, as my mother used to say. There can be an unhealthy relationship. There are very healthy relationships to money that are possible. And there's a healthy relationship to abundance. All right. So there, it's not that money itself is something that corrupts people. It's the love of money. And it's also the um, belief that that is the end in of itself. And really, it's a resource, especially for twin flames, needing to have some kind of a healthier relationship with money so that you can have resources to do your work, you know, and I am speaking to a, a very strong collective of healers and guides and teachers. A lot of you that come on my channel know that that's your mission or purpose. And in order to really step into that, this is the, the biggest stumbling block I see is around this relationship to the 3D, especially as it relates to money. There's a, an unhealthy bunch of attitudes that needs healing. Okay, so something is over. This is the Ten of Swords, as you can well see. And I got the Ten of Wands over here. There's some, there's come, something coming to a close. It's possible that very toxic relationship or relationship pattern is coming to a close. And there's nothing to be done. Like, did it hurt? Yes. Was there pain involved all the time? Yes. Um, Ten of Swords is like 10 days. So there, let's see what's going on here. Knight of Cups, Four of Swords, Nine of Cups, like that. Ten of Pentacles, another ten. The Five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Two of Pentacles. One more, please. Two of Swords. Okay, that's interesting. So there's a shift here. Now, this can be the Divine Masculine embracing more of their Divine Feminine, or if they have a lot of Divine Feminine, really stepping up their game in terms of their own action, taking action on their own behalf, taking action toward the, their Divine Partner. Um, whatever has been unhealthy, you know it. So the universe is, this is the message from the universe is saying that step up your game in terms of your meditation practice, in terms of your intuition. Um, today on uh, Pathfinders, 
we talked a lot about utilizing tools and I've been teaching about the pendulum and now I'm teaching about tarot actually in Pathfinders as a little mini lesson for them. And this really says to me that um, some of you are on the brink of opening up to new gifts by utilizing tools. Some of you may be uh, either stymied by meditation. And so, okay, so I'm going to use tools that helps me, that helps me focus or it helps me ground or something like that. Grounding is very important with this King of Pentacles in the future. Uh, some of you already, I feel like I might be talking to a collective that has recently, this may not be for all of you, but there's some kind of recent message with your twin flame, recent um, loving exchange or, or some kind of offer being delivered to you out of the blue. It is part of the twin flame journey that that offer, whether it's to travel or it's to talk or it's there's some kind of higher vibrational offer that has shifted the energy. Now, that could be for your twin or for you or for you um, either way. This is the Four of Swords. So you're showing up as the Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords. So there can be a lot coming through dream time. Uh, there can be a lot of telepathy opening up, kind of waking you up in the middle of the night. Like, is this real? So telepathy opening up. And there is, in the immediate future, the wish granted. Okay, something that you've waited a long time for. Uh, union is granted. And... There's a sense, this is mind, okay, so these all these swords are thinking, and it's like super duper overthinking about how this is supposed to unfold or or what it's going to look like. There's even this dreamy, you might have been dreaming about this for a long time or or uh, kind of, um, it's not, I don't know if it's it's not really manifesting, but it's, it's, it's like envisioning. It's part of manifesting. Yeah, it's part of manifesting. You're like you're envisioning it. But there was too much att attachment, too much attachment to this is how it's going to work. This is what it's going to look like. And the hopes and fears are about this being a long-term uh, time that we're together. This is, you know, when you stop like worrying and freaking out and being, um, I'll do respect and being, um, anxious. If I said to you that your twin flame was going to appear to you today and the relationship started today, what would happen? Would you be like, Oh my God, like, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Oh my God. Like you're still in resistance. If you're like, cool. All right. I got to go to the market now and cool. When it becomes normal to you to be uh, in this, you know, I know when you first open up to Twin Flames, it is very loud and very big energy and very, you know, this feels like Divine Masculine right here on the precipice of being right in your life. And there's a sense of, um, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, right? Like, and that's, you know, that's this, that's this five of wands of like, am I ready? Can I, can I do this? Oh my God, what's going to happen? How's this going to work? It's messy. It's messy. It can't be messy. It needs to be romantic and unbelievable and storybook and Hallmark cards and all of that. And it's just sort of like, listen, the universe is making an offer right now. And if you're focused on what it's supposed to look like versus what it's going to look like, there's a sense of like, well, that's not really it. That's not really it. That's not really it. And that is blocking. And so I feel like some of you have been through this before. Okay. There's a chunk of you that have been through this over the course of time. I mean, my heck, my thir my 36 years of this um, has shown me a, of how much I have changed, which is why I'm going to talk about progressed astrology charts your progressed, your secondary progression, your secondary progressed chart shows you your readiness for this twin flame journey, shows you your readiness to accept this kind of divine love, the ability to do it. Um, when we're born onto this planet, maybe that's not a thing. Maybe we can't, we can't deal with it. Maybe you've seen over the course of your uh, years dealing with your twin flame, uh, most twin flames in my experience 
um, come on to your path early in life, but that is not true for everybody. So it's not, there's every single set of twin flames is unique. I've seen a preponderance, let's just say 80, 85% of the people I have dealt with have their twin in their life or came onto their path way before they were awake. Uh, it does trigger a spiritual awakening. You can, you know, you're in your spiritual awakening. You could be triggered by someone who's a, a karmic, a plutonic, a false twin. I, I don't like that. It's like a, a, let's call it a catalyst twin. A catalyst twin has a frequency that is so deep and I was going to say destructive, but it's destructive to the paradigms you have in yourself that are holding you fast to something, to an old pattern of love that isn't love. It's really toxic. So these Plutonic people, because they have, the reason I call them that is in astrology charts, people with a lot of Pluto, people with Pluto, and what I mean by a lot of Pluto is their Pluto is talking, aspecting, conjunction, square, opposition, not so much trine and um, sextile, but the three, the three uh, more challenging ones, they're talking to your personal planets, to the five that are, you know, um, moon, sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars, right? Like they have Pluto squaring your Mars. They have Pluto conjunct your moon. They have even South Node and North Node. Uh, I see that a lot too. South Node is about past life. And with this energy of Pluto sitting on past life, that's past life karmic. Okay. So there's a lot. And with progress charts, you can see your readiness. It is your spiritual growth that you're looking at in a secondary progress chart. You can also see in a composite, the mission and purpose. So I like to talk about this because it does um, show quite a bit to twin flames about this path. And I'm going to clarify a couple things now because I see this five of wands. This can also be, uh, this can also be a lot of people being involved in this situation. And then I'll pull cards for div divine feminine, divine masculine. What is that five of wands about? Justice. You see how messy this is? Justice is about like hospital corners, like making things, getting things clear. Libra energy. This is yours. This is mine. This is other people's energies. This is what's going on with me. What's going on with you? Judgment. There's an, there's an awakening here. Look at that. Nine of pentacles. Some of you are awakening to your own self-worth. And then there's a lot of conversation. Um, I almost, I'm going to say this. I feel like one of you, you or your twin can be married to a plutonic or a karmic partner. And that is ending. Okay. That is ending. Um, if this is your partner, you have made an offer. You have been on involved or made some kind of offer to them. They're needing to take some kind of action. They've sat on their hands for long enough. It is about money for them, or it has been about money and, and money in not a way of expansiveness and resources like I was talking about, but money in terms of this is mine, that's yours. So there's something here. That's what happens in, in like a divorce that it's like, this is mine, that's yours. We're dividing up. It's just a division of assets. Um, really when you, when it comes right down to it, the cold, hard truth is that's, that's what it's about. And I feel like that's because the universe is calling them away from an unhealthy way of dealing with money and into something much more healthy. This is self-worth. This is, I value myself. This is new opportunities coming in. And there's going to be a lot of discussion about this. Okay. There's going to be a lot of discussion and they're going to feel if it's your partner who's, um, you know, ending a relationship with a karmic, there's going to be a lot of talk about money. Okay. There's going to be a lot of talk about that and what they might fall into this lower vibrational energy around money. Others of you are dealing with a twin who's like, I'm letting it all go. I'm just walking away. Okay. With the shirt on my back. Don't care. Don't care because I know my worth and value and I can fish. I know how to, 
how to um, build my life. I will do it again, especially with my twin. I will do it again. I'll do it again. Okay. So let's pull a few cards. Um, no, I'll do, I'm going to use this in the extended, this in their feelings. We'll look at the twins feelings. We'll look, I'm going to talk, I'm going to read you some more about those um, Ascension cards that I pulled in the beginning. So let's see for divine feminine, just get a little bit and then we'll go deeper. All right. So this divine feminine energy, four of swords, two of cups coming in. Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Divine Feminine's already there. And your job is really to stay in your mission and purpose, stay aligned. Okay. This person, I feel like you have a Divine Masculine who's shifting. Okay. Because of karmic energy. And the Feminine's already there. Here's the healing energy of the star. That's beautiful. What about for the Masculine? Oh, look at that. King of Wands, Page of Cups. What's underneath? The King of Cups. Lovely energy there. Death card. Yep. Big change. Four of Cups. Uh, other people's gossip. Yeah. Other people. Other people are that Five of Wands at the end here. And this Four of Cups says to me that this person has stayed in a bad situation for a long time because what will other people think? Or their spouse is very aware of their social position changing or something about something about that. Even though they know Ten of Swords death, even though they know that they are moving on from this, um, I feel like some of you uh, who is who are these masculine energies are going to be taking action on their own behalf. Look, in the in the feminine and the masculine energy, you have moving forward cards, the six of swords and the eight of cups. And the masculine is manifesting this change regardless now. It's almost like they had to get used to it or they had to be. I don't know. I don't want to say they don't care that their spouse is very concerned about gossip or anything like that, or they're too overly concerned about gossip whatever it is, I just feel like they've kind of gotten over that. Like it's not a thing anymore for them. They're just like, you know what? There's only so much time on this planet and it's time to make a move. All right. Link is below. If you want to continue on with me, if this is your twin flame story, uh, I'll pull cards for each Zodiac sign to give you some guidance. And I'm going to look at their feelings and talk about these uh, Ascension cards in the extended. All right. Link is below if you want to continue on. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos. <laughs>